Hey, I'm Katrina with Cherry Creek Lane and I'm super excited to show you one of our products today. This is our 3D coloring. This is a huge pirate ship and this is such a fun project to do with your kids. You get to color it, cut it out, and then put it together. It's super simple. Look how big this is. This is almost, if I get my thing right, this is almost 20 inches tall and we're talking from the, the tip to the end, this is almost again 20 inches long ways too. So this is huge. Your kids are gonna love this. This is gonna be a super fun project for you to do with them. And I'm gonna show you step by step how we did it. So let's get started. All right, so this is what this sheet looks like. Our 3D coloring has all of the pieces on one huge sheet. This is gonna come rolled up, nothing's folded. You won't have any creases. This is 50 inches long and it's 30 inches down. So this is gonna make the big ship like you just saw. Okay, so we like to color with crayons and we also like markers. We love the super tips from Crayola. These work really well on the paper. Don't use Sharpies, they're not good for coloring. Cohen, you ready to get started? Yep. Let's do this. All the pieces on this 3D ship are all labeled, so it makes it really easy to put it together. And even the little glue tabs have labels on them, so that after you cut it out, you know which base, which um, which piece goes where. So we've made it really easy for you. All right, Cohen, I'm going to start with the ship. I'll do the flags and the sails. Okay, let's get to work. coloring um, it doesn't matter if you stay in the lines or not because obviously we're going to be cutting out so that allows the coloring to go a little bit quicker um, for cutting out we like to use um, exacto knives um, and of course scissors and we brought in some reinforcements because that is a lot of cutting all right let's get to it okay just to make things easier we are going to first off just cut some pieces so it'll be easier for each individual person to get theirs done if it's not attached to the main sheet. So we'll just divvy some pieces up. And then we each have our own sections to work on and you can keep dividing it and dividing it however many times you need. Okay, don't forget that you're gonna be cutting along the solid lines, but anywhere where it's dashed, those are your fold lines. So only cut around the outside on the solid lines. Okay, so we are just about done cutting out all of our pieces. Now these ones we didn't color all the way and actually we didn't need to color them at all because they're not gonna be seen, this actually goes um, underneath our base to give it some stability, which I'll show you when we start putting it together. Um, cut out these squares. This is where the masts are gonna go, so we need to cut those out. Also, you can choose whether or not to cut out in the cells. We are cutting those pieces out on our cells. This part here is gonna bend over. Anyways, you can cut it out or you can leave it if you want. And the other piece is these ones. Um, you can cut out these individual pieces, again, if you'd like. We chose to not cut out um, this on our ship. So um, we're gonna finish cutting out these few pieces and then we'll put it together. Okay, now that everything is cut out, we're gonna start assembling the boat. You're gonna need a glue stick for this part. I've started to already fold some of my tabs in and I'm gonna finish folding this part of the ship. We'll start with the base first and get that glued on. So let's finish folding. Remember, find that dotted line and fold it up. Um, we will use just a tiny bit of tape on the very front of this ship and the rest we just use glue stick. Mm -hmm. 
Grab your glue stick. This is our base for the ship. So let's throw some glue on one of the sides and this glue on down. Okay, so let's line up our edge here. And I'm gonna check it from this side too. So we can line that edge right up with that side of the ship. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. And slowly. Bring that curved edge around. Okay, and when you've got it all lined up with the edge, just give it a good, a good smooth. This part right here, you can either tape or glue. Um, I think I'm actually going to glue it today. So we're just gonna throw a little bit right there at the tip. Well, we'll go a little bit further down. And just pinch that for a second. Okay, and we've got the base minus the back done. So let's throw the back on. Now we're gonna put the back on. The back folds kind of accordion-like. Um, and I colored the, my glue spot, but this is actually the part that's gonna glue down. Okay, we're gonna glue all of these tabs at the same time. Okay, guys, so during editing, when we were putting this video together, we realized that we were missing a clip. I don't know, it got deleted somewhere. So there's a step here that got missed. Now, inside, as you're building this boat, there's gonna be three cubes. These are going to get glued underneath this um, floor, I guess you would call it the floor of the ship. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is build the cube and then glue the top of the cube that has the hole cut out to the bottom of this first. So first glue all three of those cubes to the base of the uh, this floor piece, and then you will glue the floor piece into the sides of the ship. Okay, now for the fun part, let's do the sails. We will just start with the back of the boat and work our way to the front. And I think I'm gonna tip this down like this so that you guys can see better. Okay, so each of our sails are marked with where they go. So let's find all the ones for the rear. So we'll have this one and this one, I believe there's just two on the rear. Let's see, middle, middle, front, front, middle. Okay. And let's get to gluing. So these are gonna bend just a tiny bit. They're gonna come forward just a little bit right there. We're gonna glue these two pieces together first. And then we'll put it on the boat. We're gonna be gluing here and a little dab here. So it's going to attach one spot right here. I'm not sure if this is the best angle. And then this, we're gonna glue right here where the words are. This is gonna end up folding back. And then, so we'll have glue, glue, here and here. And we're going to, when we glue it, make it so that our cell 
has a little bit of bend to it. Okay, why don't you glue together these flags front top? All right. We're just gonna be gluing them together, give them a little more stability, and then those are going to get glued like this. So on this part, we're gonna be gluing each of these tabs and gluing it onto one of our short sticks. So it'll be like this. And then we'll attach it to our boat. Um, for this little mass piece that's got the different lengths on the bottom, I think you guys can see it. Um, the reason these are different sizes is because this is gonna sit at an angle. So these are gonna kind of flare out. I might need to cut this one just a tiny bit more. Make sure you're cut all the way on each of those sides. So this, I'm gonna show it up high so you guys can see, but we're really gonna stick it down lower. So this, is gonna kind of fan out and glue on like this. And it's gonna be able to sit like at an angle. Okay, so we're gonna get this going and position figured out. So this is gonna be coming in at this angle. Okay, so now we're gonna glue all these little tabs and get ready to stick it on. Okay, we are almost done. Ladders. I'll show you where they go and then you can throw them on. So okay. the ladders are gonna go and attach to this middle mast. So I'm gonna do it backwards for us for a minute. So this is going to get glued right down here about level with this middle step. So we'll glue that right here to this wall and then it bends back and glues to that top. Yeah, you did it. Good job. There it is. Okay, and here is our finished pirate ship. Thanks for watching, and you can pick yours up at cherrycreeklane.com. Look for the tab that says 3D coloring, and that's where you can find this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.